This gross specimen is entitled prostate carcinoma, but in all honesty, you don't know that. All you know is that it's uh, tissue, it looks kind of firm and maybe hemorrhagic or pinkish in areas, and it could be from anywhere, and technically it can. However, you see this little slit over here? It looks to me like that might be a urethra. So if you were convinced it was a urethra, and this area tumor came from the bladder base, you know it was enlarged nodular and very likely to be malignant prostate gland. Here is a nice a slice we're going to take now from just about any part of the tumor. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, this couldn't hard, this can't be a car adenocarcinoma. It can't even be a prostate. There's no glands here. Well, take a little bit closer look. These glands or these tumor cells originally from glands are so poorly differentiated, you could barely recognize them as being glands. So that's why this would be the very highest level of Gleason grading. That's why this is a Gleason 5. And also notice in this high-grade prostate cancer, once again, these little strips here are either fibrous uh, blasts or, uh, of uh, fibrous tissue or smooth muscle, perhaps. Notice how every one of these nuclei is very, very, very uh, severely, bizarrely shaped, sized, and stained. And every single one of them has a big central giant nucleolus. This is the probably the poorest form of differentiation of adenocarcinoma you could see, and that's why it's called Gleason's 5. If we had a little more patience, we could probably find areas in which you could say, hey, wait a minute, maybe this was a gland, because look, I'm starting to see a little tubular structure here. Well, that's good, and it very may very well be. But most of it, like for example here, does not really look like it's forming a gland at all. Gleason's 5 prostate cancer. If this was both the predominant as well as the secondary pattern of histology, in other words, 5 plus 5, that would make this a Gleason's score, final score of 10, which is the worst that you could have. Thank you very much.